Hi, my name is Lori and I'm a specialist here at Mother to Baby. If you're pregnant, planning a pregnancy or breastfeeding, you probably have questions about the COVID-19 vaccines and whether they're safe for you and your baby. In this brief video, I'll address some of those questions based on what we know and don't know as of April, 2021. Clinical trials and real world experience have shown the COVID vaccines to be safe for the general public, but studies specifically in pregnancy and breastfeeding are still lacking. Health experts don't expect the vaccines to be harmful in pregnancy or breastfeeding, but of course we all want actual evidence of this. Right now, clinical trials are taking place with people who are pregnant and the CDC, mother to baby and other groups are enrolling people in pregnancy registries and breastfeeding studies. So what reassurance do we have in the meantime? For starters, over 106,000 people so far who have self-reported to the CDC's vSafe app after getting the vaccine have indicated they were pregnant when they got one or both doses. The side effects they've reported have been similar to those in people who aren't pregnant. Some of those pregnancies have gone on to enroll in the CDC's vSafe pregnancy registry. The first group of people from the registry to give birth showed no harmful effects from the vaccine for themselves or their babies. These pregnancies all received one of the mRNA vaccines, mostly in the third trimester. But as more people in the registry complete their pregnancies, we'll learn more about getting the vaccine in all three trimesters of pregnancy. It's also reassuring that the key ingredients in the vaccines, the ones that trigger our bodies to start building immunity, don't travel through the body. Our cells break those ingredients down pretty quickly right in the muscle where they're injected. This means the vaccine is not expected to reach the baby during pregnancy or make its way into the breast milk. Like any other vaccine, some trace amounts of the inactive carrier ingredients might make their way into the bloodstream but these aren't known to increase risks to the baby. If you're breastfeeding, any small amounts of these ingredients that might make their way into the breast milk are likely to be destroyed in your baby's stomach without causing an effect on them. That's why experts encourage you to continue nursing or pumping as usual after getting the vaccine with no need to wait or discard your milk. What if you're planning a pregnancy? Based on the way the COVID vaccines and other vaccines work, there is nothing to suggest that getting the vaccine would make it more difficult to get pregnant or affect future pregnancies in any way. There's no recommendation to wait to get pregnant after getting the vaccine. And during pregnancy, again, based on the way vaccines work, getting a COVID vaccine at any time during pregnancy is not expected to increase the chance of miscarriage, birth defects, or other pregnancy complications. There's no preferred time in pregnancy when you should or shouldn't get the vaccine. And if you get your first dose of a COVID vaccine and then find out you're pregnant, it's still recommended that you get your second dose on time as scheduled. If you get a fever after getting the vaccine, acetaminophen like regular Tylenol is usually recommended to reduce fever in pregnancy. When you think about risks and benefits of the vaccine in pregnancy, consider the fact that getting sick with COVID-19 during pregnancy increases the chance of being very sick, which could lead to pregnancy complications. Getting the vaccine is one way to help reduce the chance of severe illness and pregnancy complications from COVID-19. Is there one vaccine that's preferred over others during pregnancy and breastfeeding? Not at this time. All women younger than 50 years old, regardless of whether they're pregnant or breastfeeding, should be aware of a rare but increased chance of blood clots with low platelets after getting the Johnson & Johnson Janssen vaccine. Other COVID-19 vaccines are available where this risk has not been seen. But between the mRNA vaccines Pfizer and Moderna, there's no preference for one over the other. If you have questions about which vaccine is best for you, talk with your healthcare provider. And lastly, can getting the vaccine protect your baby against COVID-19? Possibly. After you get the vaccine, your own body produces antibodies against the virus. These antibodies have been found in both the umbilical cord blood and the breast milk of people who are vaccinated. It's encouraging that those antibodies might pass to the baby. 
More research will help us know how much protection this might actually provide for the baby, how long that protection might last, and if there's any difference in benefits to the baby from being vaccinated in pregnancy versus while breastfeeding. If you have more questions about the COVID vaccines, talk to your healthcare provider and check out our fact sheet, which is updated regularly, and our other vaccine resources at mothertobaby.org. And of course, you can contact us directly at Mother to Baby by phone, email, text, or live chat for updates or other questions. Thank you for listening. And remember, Mother to Baby is here for you.